Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a complex challenge that many developers encounter when working with TensorFlow. Our viewer is trying to compile TensorFlow using a custom Clang and LLVM toolchain, specifically opting for Clang's native libc++ instead of the standard libstdc++. This approach can lead to some tricky issues, especially when Bazel assumes that every Clang will use GCC's libraries. Let's explore the details of this problem and see how we can help our viewer navigate through these compilation errors. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To compile TensorFlow with a custom Clang and libc++, we need to address Bazel's default assumptions about the tool chain. First, ensure that your Clang installation is correctly set up and that libc++ is available. Next, let's modify the Bazel build command to specify the use of libc++. Use the following command to build TensorFlow, ensuring you include the correct options. If you encounter errors about undeclared inclusions, it may be necessary to adjust the cross-tool configuration. You can add the new directory for libc++ in the cross-tool file. If modifying the cross-tool file does not resolve the issue, consider creating a custom toolchain. This involves defining a new toolchain in your workspace file. Finally, if you still face issues, check that your custom toolchain includes a valid cross-tool file. This file is essential for Bazel to understand how to use your custom Clang setup. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To compile TensorFlow with a custom Clang and libc++, you can use Bazel with specific options. Set the CC variable to your Clang binary and configure Bazel with the necessary flags for libc++. You can also use the repoem option to set defaults in your Bazel configuration. Remember, if you change the C++ toolchain, run Bazel Clean Nash Expunge to refresh the cache. For a more robust solution, consider using CC Toolchain Config Info. Check the Bazel documentation for detailed guidance on configuring your C++ toolchain. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user found a solution for compiling TensorFlow with a custom Clang and libc++. They set up environment variables for the installation directory and compiler settings. They cloned the TensorFlow repository from GitHub and created a temporary build directory. Finally, they used CMake to configure the build and executed the make command to compile TensorFlow. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.